So look, um, I go to level five and level one. I was at Marquette level one. I blew that. I was in a temporary hole up in A dorm. That's the sex offenders dorm, but they got a temporary hole up there. So I was in there. I got convicted of my ticket. And I had too many points to go back to level one. So they wanted to send me somewhere I could be housed there. So I had to go to a level two. But there, they don't put you back out in the unit or they don't keep in a temporary hole. They send you to a real hole, which is in level five. And if a bed not opened up for you in a level two by the end, well, you're going to be in level five. Now, I don't know if that's legal or not. But obviously it is because if they would have been sued, they definitely wouldn't have did that. So, mind you, I go to the hole. I get out the hole, go right back. And then I'm finally out. I get out the hole and get sent to GP. But when I went over to level five, it was an eye opener because I never seen men behave like that and i've been around juvenile systems and county jail but i never seen men uh expose themselves to to women i never seen men smurf feces all on themselves urinate in their own cell throw food yell all night if they get into it with they, the cellmate next to them they'll bang on the locker all night they'll slam the locker real hard Bang on it, just being aware of my surroundings. Yeah, they're, they're slamming the locker all night. Bang on it. You ain't sleeping. You mm, talking, then being cool, arguing, then being cool. And it was just going on all night. That's when I got prescribed Seroquel to help me with my sleep because I couldn't sleep. Yelling to the top of their lungs, rapping, talking, talking about gangs all day. It's just, it's no really positive conversation when you're in a hole like that. It's always about some BS or whatever, but cool, whatever. Whatever to pass the time. So anyway, I get out the hole. I guess it was just a big gang war between like, I think it was VBM, and I want to say, eight eighty two, something like that. I want I, I don't know. They was beefing with another blood gang. So it was the bright idea of the war and whoever in classification to put all these guys on one side, all these type of bloods on one side. So at the time, it's only me, like a Atlantic, one more American. Uh, one GD had just went to the hole. It's just few and far in between. Let's just say if it was 60 people on the front side, I would say a good 35 of them was, 40 of them was bloods, some type of blood or affiliated or been there and they was just neutral and pe they was cool. But anyway, so I, I, I go over there, do yell down like sell, whatever it was, sell nine. What up though? Who you be, blood? I'm like, bird. He like, nah, who you be? Dude next door like, what's your ball? And I ain't know what he was talking about, right? I ain't know, I ain't know what he was talking about. I'm like, bro, I, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Uh, you know, whatever. Woo -woo, I'm bird, like flying bird, B Y R D. So the guy next door to me is Solar, right? He like, he, they trying to see if you a blood man. And I'm like, oh no, 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 no. Woo -woo -woo. I don't want no, you know, at this time, like, uh, -uh. and um. He like, so you flipping over to this side? I'm like, no, nah, I ain't doing no flipping on no none of that, bro. I don't even know y'all. He like, well, when you get to know what you're going to do, I'm like, nah, bro. Like, what, what's up with you? He like, all right, it's VBM or I. I think VBM stands for like Villain Banger Mafia. This guy like VBM or I. What? VBM or I. I don't know what he talking about. Right. So Lars explained to me again. He told me you're gonna get with the set or they need an I. I say, what? I'm like, hey bro, I ain't with none of that, bro. Woo 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 woo. He like when you, when, when you come out, I'll be on the back wall. You getting off this yard. Or you can lock up now, you can go to another unit. You can go uh, uh to the hall, say you want to commit suicide, but you got to get from over here on this front side. It's all VBM or die. Was v VBM affiliators or, or die, something like that. He said to me, some slogan that he had. Pride is the quickest way to starvation. That's what Jesus said. Pride is the quickest way to hell. I'm just super tough in my head, which I realized down the line, I'm not very tough at all. And not barbaric as I thought I was. So... I'm like, man, whatever. Woo, I'll be on the yard. Now, the whole time, I'm thinking, like, should I just take that offer to go to the hall? <laughs> should I just take that offer? But something in me, like, man, I like my chances. I like my chances. And I don't even know how he look, mind you. I don't know how he look, how big he is, 
or none of that. I just hear them all talking about blood. This isn't that blood. Uh, blood, we about to get one off the yard, bro. Uh, blood, 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 blood. I don't say nothing. I ain't doing no cell gangster stuff or none of that. And I don't want to make the situation worse. And I'm trying to pinpoint exactly kind of like what cell it come from. So the Solar shot me some words. He like, well, whoop, bro up there in that cell. I don't like them little young gangbangers. But when they're wrong, you got to act like a wrong. And I ain't going to say his name. I know his name. Um, me and him cool to this day. But I, cause I, but people be reporting back to prison like, oh, he said this or he said that. So I don't want to get him in no trouble or conflict if he's still up there. And um, so he shoot me words and tell me what cell, how he looked, and he told me that he had he come out with like a a, a brown, uh, Carhartt jacket on. So I'm getting a little visual of him in my head. Like then, let me remember this. I shot him some words back. Like woo, 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 okay, how many of them is it? He shoot me the words back. He say, bro, it's like 27 of them that I counted that I know of. I just got on this side. You feel me? I'm like, 27? I'm like, it ain't none of mine over here? Nope. So we writing back and forth. Woo, woo. He asked me, did I know somebody? I'm like, yeah, woo, woo, woo. He shoot me over a little piece about this big. I don't know how he got it. It was made out of um, a, 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 a can top. You know the tops on the can I told you? We still not the kitchen, but it was a small, like, little can or whatever like a, a little small can of corn at the top it was folded or whatever with a handle on it back good looking he's like send me all my work well we was writing on back and forth on like two sheets of paper front and back or whatever he's like send me my words back so I could flush them or whatever whoop, whoop. I send him the words back I guess he tear them up flush them because you know he don't want nobody to be like oh you know look he gave me some words oh he gave me a piece oh he you know you know what i'm saying he didn't want me to expose him because he didn't really know me like that but he looked out for me he gave me a little piece i'm like all right bet so i would say like two hours later which felt like four hours i had those butterflies like when you young and you meet your first girl that you like and you love them butterflies on an empty stomach i'm nervous then a mother Woo, woo, woo. Porter come by, right? Porter say, um, he say, what's your name, bro? Where you from? I tell him. I guess he go around the corner. He go holler at, at this guy named uh, Mike Mike, this vice lord that I know from the world. Mike Mike sent some words over, right? Well, not I, I said around the corner, but. Mike Mike like down at the at the base cell all the way at the end by the showers like he far right and I'm all the way on the other end so whatever whatever he like is this 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 bird from such and such I'm like yeah woo, woo, woo. Send, us, send us some words once I find out who he is he like I'm coming on on, on, on y'all yard today or whatever woo, woo. If they don't let all the if they don't let all the galleries out, I get to come out on y'all. So he come out. He catch me before I get to the yard. Dude that I was arguing with the blood with the with the brown coat on. He was on the back wall with his hands in his sleeve. It's cold outside, right? He on the backyard, his hands in his sleeve. Mike Mike like, hey, look, bro, I'm about to go holler at them. You good. You, you know what I'm saying? You good. My word gold around this joint. You feel me? I've been up here six, seven years struggling with them, bro. Them to my brothers. So I go back there. They kind of deep. Everybody on the yard looking. And it's like they notice I'm the only new guy. Everybody looking at me. It's like the walker just like, I don't know what's going on. Everything moving so fast. And I keep trying not to, you know what I'm saying? I keep my head straight on and I'm focused. So I walk outside. They pat us down. Little light pad. We go into the gate. I go towards the back wall. Me and Mike, Mike. Bro, like, what's up? It's VBM or I. I'm like, it's whatever. Mike might jump in like, no, no, he good. Woo, woo, woo. He like, oh. Oh, because you sure was going to get this. You good, dog. I apologize. Such and such. Woo, woo, woo. Blood, 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 blood. But yeah, we saw a VBM over here. We ain't let nothing, not official on the yard stay on here. I don't care if you a blood. If you ain't rocking with us. You ain't one of the sets. We affiliated with you. Can't, you can't stay over here. We need an eyeball. You feel me? 
You feel me? We need a buck fifty. We need something from you. We need blood on this yard, bro. We predicated our blood. I'm like, damn. He talking and talking. I'm like, yeah, all right, whatever. Woo, woo. Me and Mike spent a yard. He explained to me what's going on in the in the in the, in the war and all this stuff, man. I'm like, I'm so scared, bro. I'm so scared inside. But the save face, I still went outside. The smart thing would have been like, hey, I want to commit suicide. Let me let me go to the suicide unit. I'm, scared. you feel me? But the save face, I come outside, about to make my predicament worse. Cause if I if I stab him, ain't none of my kind over here like that. You know what I'm saying? If I stab him, I come down. I, I only got a one or four. I got another case, or I got a flop coming if they don't want to charge me. I got a mandatory flop coming. So it's like it was no win win from that situation when I could have just tucked tail, went to the hole or or whatever, stayed there till I rolled out, which I rolled out like maybe a week or two later. But before I rolled out, I just got to see some crazy stuff. I got to see VBM pop off again with inside itself fighting for power and positions and things like that. As uh, far as VBM, which I think, like I said, I think it stands for Villain Banger Mafia. I don't know what the banger is. I know what villain is, but uh, I, I once said on, on here that there was an official set. Somebody corrected me and said there wasn't an official set. Like I said, it's not on me to do that. Maybe I should do my research and ask around, but People say that you don't have to have sanctions from Cali to have an official set. You can start your own, as long as it's predicated under what blood stands for. You got your ball, you got the rules and policies that you're supposed to have. Some guys say, no, it got to be sanctioned, and the fish was foo-foo. So, those, you're never going to really get a straight answer. We need a big blood to come tell us some things. But then, once again, that's probably still his opinion, because they say 82 blood is not real blood. They don't have no sanctions, but they respect it on, that, on them yards, level 2s and level 4s, where the deep is at, they be running things under the blood so I just don't know bro I, I don't know really don't even care you know my my, my brother who got his own set shop um, also bloody glove mafia die move started his own set no sanctions no nothing I respect him everybody respect him it is what it is and I like the way he move because brother not a game banger when he put that that mafia on us he really meant that by making big legitimate moves and maybe you know have to wiggle or finesse something sometimes off the muscle but it's predicated around getting money not gang banging that's why I tell people like the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said we love the gangs but the gang banging must stop and I ain't here to preach no positive stuff I'm just telling y'all my story man that feeling that I had that was the first time in a while I kind of felt like that it's kind of like you get into it with a guy and he flash what's on his hip. And then you just don't know what to do next. You want to stay here, save face. Probably try to still look tough, but kind of situation down at the same time. Or you should skedaddle. Really, sometimes flight is the best thing. Don't be like me, an idiot. I was an idiot for going out there. They could have did anything to me. And they, it was going to blow me down. Bro had a piece like this. Pause. Blow me that. Yeah, but he had a piece like that. And... It was so many of them, I wouldn't have had a fighting chance, man. Really, or I mean, or maybe if I would have up mine, I'd have bagged them off me a little bit. But I'm not sure if multiple people had it. But the guy that did, that did that, he turned out to getting hit by his own because he was just a little flunky. He was being super tough, and to find out, he only joined VBM during the war when they made him pick size. Crazy, peace.